Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. We are on the air, and it's a hockey day in Concord. Today, from the Matthews Center, it's a matchup of two former ISL foes as the St. Paul's Pelicans welcome the Noble and Grinnell Bulldogs to town. It's been a topsy-turvy up-and-down season so far for Nobles, who began the year 4-0 and was ranked number one wire-to-wire -wire after the first week of the campaign. However, with then-leading scorer Ryan Stevens forced to sit out the Floodmar Holiday Tournament, Nobles dropped to 1-3 and three in fourth place. The Bulldogs are now 4-5-1 and one in their last 10, but don't let that fool you. They'll be tenacious hunting for their first or for their two points here today as they cling to the fifth seed in the large school tournament. If you take a short glance up the standings board, though, you may be a bit surprised to find St. Paul sitting at the number three seed. Despite their 4-1 loss to KUA on Saturday, SPS only dropped three places in the standings and look to get back on track here today as they are 7-2-1 and one in their last 10. Glad to have you along. My name's Ryan Murphy. Nobles will be skating from right to left. They're wearing white. And St. Paul's from left to right. They'll be wearing red. Andy Barron starts in goal for St. Paul's and Mark Smith is in net for the Bulldogs. Smith has started 14 of 14 games so far for Nobles as Joe Schubert worked into the offensive zone there for the Big Red. It did not go. Slapped in deep now by Harrison Sweet. Centered in for the net here. Simpson was all tied up so he couldn't get a hand on it. And here goes Aiden Lyons out to center. He kicks the connecting pass and it's Cronin with a shot. Knocked up in the air after Barron made the save. But the rebound comes over this way for Simpson to bang out to center. That's John Murray backing up with it. He's watched by Julian Menez who was coming in hot there. Picked up by Sweet, he shot, shoots it in. I guess he shot it in, it's past tense now. <laughs> Pass over this way, it is Jacob's job to hammer it in, he'll do just that. Menas now. Taking the pass from Duma and then throwing it up the right side. Simpson standing in just to the right of that red line and he'll play it in after he gained the blue. Smith will make his first save of the game there because he's just inside the blue line. Here's Stadheim now with a bit of space. That's Owen Stadheim with a shot and it's stopped by Mark Smith. We'll get a stoppage in play here with 16.50 on the clock. Players to watch for today's game. Ryan Stevens for Nobles. He had 10 points in the first four games of the season, but missed a full month after that. He returned to play versus St. Sebastian just inside the new year and has four points since. On the other side, it's Aiden Lyons. He's a freshman defenseman out of Brooklyn, Mass, with two six eight totals this year, which is pretty good for a freshman D and is said to be drawing some serious D1 interest. So there you go. you got your players to watch. Adding to that list, by the way, is Casey Severo. He's a senior and a Merrimack commit, so not bad. He's also the only non-Massachusetts player on the team. As Cooper Foyt nambles up and ahead here, he'll rip one in deep, but it's John Sacklett in the right corner who takes it. Sacklett takes a bump from James O'Connor. Two O'Connors on the team, James and Owen. No relation, I do believe. Don't count me on that. They don't exactly live in the same town, so I wouldn't figure they'd be brothers. What goes in on Andy Barrett here, who playing the side for freshman defenseman Jake Sullivan. He takes a look around and he takes it for a skate. Up across the blue line and it makes the pass. It's James Owen who bangs it in off the boards. His line mates are changing, so he's the only guy up in the four check right now. Or rather, he was the first guy on his line on the change, so his line mates are now on the ice. I apologize. And there's one of them, Malcolm Bussey, right side. Gets up in the head by Owen once more. He'll give chase. Back is Cronin. He takes a bump. Right up to the right point, Sullivan with a sauce one to the net, coming over to cut that off is Pierce Kenny in front of the goal. Another one trickling towards Smith in the Nobles cage, and it didn't make it to him. And here come the Bulldogs the other way. It's Casey Severo on the right side, tries to cut to the middle, and it'll drop it off for Stevens. Stevens, a sharp angle shot, knocked up in the air. Barron made the first save and the second. It's in his glove, and we get a stoppage in play. Top line for Nobles, Steven Severo and Cronin, 22, 19, and 9. They do a lot of damage. I do believe they're the three leading scorers as well. They're not on the ice right now, and it's drifted wide of the cage by David Jacobs off the faceoff. Lead pass by Sweet went off the back heel of Eric Simpson there. It's oh, now a chance. Here comes Jacobs right in. Jacobs straight to the goal. Stopped by Andy Marin. What a terrific save by the St. Paul's goaltender. He's lost his stick now. Stadheim trying to return it to him. I'm not sure how that play developed, but it did not develop in St. Paul's favor. Here's another one to the goal. Played there by John Murray, who's one of the captains on the Noble squad, and it was steered aside by Barrett again, who's had to make a couple good stops early. Vincent gets it up and out. 
Murray takes a bump from Menez, but is uh, able to play it to the blue or the red line rather. A collision there between two Nobles teammates, and no further action on the Bulldog side. Shot in there by Menez after a moment of hesitation, hesitation, and here goes John Murray the other way now. He'll switch gears and come over the left lane. He's got a bit of space there. Murray trying to make the inside move, but Dumas came over to cut him off. Murray then taking Russell over the wall as Dumas picks up the puck, and he's going to lug it across the blue and through neutral territory before chipping it in and sending Ty Green to chase. Back on it first is Pierce Kenny as Green hits him. It comes up the wall. Russell stepping in. He was hit hard. And getting the hit there was Owen O'Connor. I think that might have been Pickering. We tried to play it to him to send it in on the breakaway. He would have been better just taking it himself as Bryson Russell was all distracted. He probably could have had a break. Missed opportunity there for Nobles and St. Paul's is working in the own zone right now. Zach Ladd for Flinton along the wall. He's all tied up. Flinton got it back to the line. No, it's Alex Levine hard off the boards for Ty Green by the net. Green, staple gunned in low by James O'Connor. It's picked up though and brought the other way by David Jacobs. He's going to try to muscle his way through. Sorry, that was Clonin, and he did get through. Here's a chance and a shot wide of the goal by Stevens. He got free on the rush. And from about the top of the left circle, shot that puck that drifted wide of the far post. Great chance for Ryan Stevens, who we talked about earlier. That's Zink who will get the puck in here. Still no score. Another one in front here. Uh, Jacobs was the indebted target, but going down to one needle block, it was Schubert. Another chance for Zink. He's going to try to make a move. Did not go for him. He would have been better off shooting it, I think. Must have had more, or well, he thought he had more time, and he really did. Bussy only barely getting by on that puck. He'll just shoot one in. Smith is forced to make a save from wide out. Pickering was coming off the bench, trying to hold the puck in. There is Pickering on the far side. Good step up there by McLean to hold it, but the second attempt to clear does get out, and Joe Schubert will swing back with it. There's a stick in the middle of the ice just inside the blue line in the St. Paul's end. I'm not sure whose stick it is, but I'm assuming it's somebody's on the bench. Nobody's going to pick it up. Murray trying to get by. He got by Sweet and got a shot on. Aaron making another stop there, coming over to his right. And now the other way. Green is tripped up. There'll be a penalty on the play. Only guy back is Kenny as Dreams drives wide. He sent out it across, but no one was home for St. Paul's. who's going to the power play here. It's Halliday on the ice. Dropping it off. Trickles to Sweet. And then the Simpson. Six on five. And here's Harrison Sweet waiting with a shot. And I don't think Smith even saw it. He was forced to make the save through traffic. And now this one will squeak out. Pass an outstretch Charlie Culver. Well, the empty goal for St. Paul's is Andy Barron is on the bench. It's Halliday trying to center it. Went to Green. Green trying to cut in. It was knocked away. Sweet on the follow-up. Holding. Dropping right onto the stick of Owen O'Connor. And we do have a stoppage. So Ty Green draws the penalty. And St. Paul's to the power play here. Four on four. And that is not, of course, the number of guys on the ice. But the... Minor assessed to number four, Will Keating on number four, Ty Green. The first opportunity up a man, you see it on the nice bright scoreboard. Usually the lights are only on up there for home and guest and the penalty when the penalty's on, but uh, <laughs> they have all the lights on today. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. Immediately shot right out here, and it's Eric Simpson corralling it across. St. Paul's trying to get set up on the power play and get their zone entry going, but the pass missed Simpson in neutral territory. So it's left to Halliday to finish the job and shoot it in. Smith stops it, and all the way down she goes off the stick of Pierce Kenny. So now from an even deeper area, it's Teddy McElhinney, the captain for St. Paul's. Once again, they get about 120 left to go in this man advantage, and a good step there by John Murray to knock the puck away. Second opportunity, and it is Simpson who will get it deep. That puck trickled away for men of the half wall, and Zink is there to just take the leftovers. Yeah, we'll put it that way. Take the leftovers, and uh, down she goes. <laughs> One minute to go. Dumas coming in. He got hooked in the middle of the ice there as he came across the blue line. No penalty called. Cooper Flinton now. St. Paul's has changed power play units. 
at Sacklad. Switching spots with Slinton now. John Sacklad bouncing puck for Russell. Knocked by him. And going the other way is Lapsley. Getting back is Dumont. And Lapsley trying to drop it off. Instead, it's right to the sick of Ty Green, who starts the other way. Green right side. His shot. And it was blocked there by Lyons, guarding him out to the near side of the ice. A defensive play there by the young Aiden Lyons. And he'll pick the puck up now and clear. I think Green might have been trying to shoot it through Lyons' legs there, too, potentially. Here's Bryson Russell for Ty Green, who has to stretch out before getting that puck and dumping it deep. He's on the wrong side of the red line, but no icing called on the play as the assistant coach, Mark Spence, uh, was calling for over there. Spence in his eighth year. He's a graduate of Middlebury MBU. He does not get the call he wants, though. And the power play is over, so Nobles has killed it, and here goes Schubert with a bit of steam. Schubert to... Taken to the wall, lost the puck, trying to spin away with it there is Colby Bailey along the goal line. But he comes in and lays a hard hit on John Murray. Puck game free there for Casey Severo who made the pass and it's Murray along, stretcher out to center and here comes Stevens. Stevens dropping it off but Zink wasn't in the spot he thought he was. Oh sorry, that's not Zink, that's Pickering. He wasn't in the intended area up at the top of the dots. And the pass went to no one. That's why St. Paul's is working in the O-zone right now. Bussey's pass was knocked out of the air there by Murray. Sweet at the line. For Schubert in deep. Once the end just galloped away from him. The chip by Pickering is then knocked out further by O'Connor. O'Connor now giving chase on. Sweet takes him into the Zamboni light gate over there. That's not where the Zamboni actually comes out. It's over on the near side. But they have an extra Zamboni gate just in case over there on the farm. <laughs> I think that's for removing the nets, maybe? Not sure, James O'Connor will <laughs> get the puck deep here. It's really irrelevant, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jacob with some good work. He's on the receiving end of that centering pass. He's gonna get it again and rip a shot. Still loose as it bounced around, never made it to the goal, and here's Menez seeing a lane. Menez trying to step in, instead he left it to the line inadvertently for Simpson. Vincent now will take it to the wall. Menez comes in to bash some bodies. Still loose along that half wall. Three on two in favor of Nobles. And that's why Pierce Kenny digs it out. They'll start the other way now. The Bulldogs, that cross ice pass will end up on the stick of Jacobs, who left it right at the St. Paul's logo in the middle. Stadheim deflected it away, or deflect, Menez deflected it away from the reach of Jacobs there in the middle of the ice on the Stadheim pass, I should say. <laughs> Here's Russell. D D D Juma up top. Bryce and Russell fakes the shot. Now he sees a lane. Could not get it to the net, though, when it was blocked right to Lapsley, who will bang one off the boards and all the way down in on goal. Barron trying to start things the other way. It's tape to tape for Simpson, who can't get very far inside that line. Bailey now forced to swing around his net by Ty Green. Lost the puck. He'll cut back with it once more at the bottom of the left circle. Great give and go. And look at Nobles here in the middle. It's Severo. And the puck kicked to the board. So we give it back in deep for Steven. Stevens. Stevens, plural. <laughs> well, that's his name. It's an S on the end. So <laughs> not Steven. Stevens. Shot blocked by Green, loose in the middle of the ice. Chance for Stevens, and a good poke. I think Dumont might have had it, and that will send Flinton the other way. Here he comes, Cooper Flinton, a log shot. And Mark Smith is forced to make a save. He hasn't had to make many of them so far. He makes that one, though, if we do have a stoppage. That line of uh, Stevens, Severo, and Cronin knows how to move the puck. I'll tell you that. Stevens is really skating out there. A bit of a surprise when he started the season so hot, at least statistically for Stevens. Last year, he only had five goals and one assist for six points. And over his career, including this year, he has 18, 10, 28 totals. But right in the first four games, I believe he had... Is it uh, five or six goals in the first four games of the season? And that raised some eyebrows as he catapulted to the top of the prep hockey scoring rankings. James Orr will get this puck deep, and Lyons will just deflect it over to the near side. Schubert takes his man into the wall. Coming in to help out is Jack Cronin as it's sent to the net by St. Paul's. Smith's making a couple saves. They're not hard ones, though. The shot's coming from the outside right now for St. Paul's. Unlike Nobles, though. <laughs> They've had some good chances right down that middle area, down to our left. 
This face off to the left side and Halliday will line up so that Green can win it too. Matai couldn't win the draw and the stretch pass goes out for Cronin. A home bounce for St. Paul's and they'll take over now. Luckily, luckily off the stick of Green, so no icing there on the play, and Murray will cut back with it. Green all over him, and now it's up the near side. O'Connor couldn't hang on to it. Quick shifts here for Noble so far in this one. Drew goes back for this puck, but it's icing against the Bulldogs with 5.46 on the clock. Uh, maybe it hasn't been quick shifts, maybe it's just been a quick period. 18-minute <laughs> period, and I feel like we were just about three or four minutes in by now. We're actually... 15 and a half minutes into the broadcast and started all too early. This puck to the cool. Oh, Car Culver was headed hard to the paint. Couldn't get a stick on it, though. Didn't even register a shot. Halliday can't find the puck. It was just behind him. He'll now make a nice little move and send Culver away on the left side. Culver bumps Murray to get some space to shoot it in. Halliday up on the forecheck as Lyons swings around. It's a fresh bit on freshen, and Halliday wins the battle to keep the puck inside the... Noble's blue line now is deflected into the middle. Dumas is hustling and he shoots. A knuckle puck that was wide. Odd hop in favor of St. Paul's there. And a hop here will send Mr. Owen O'Connor the other way. He looked like he was going to head in. He had all sorts of time to, but he's got to go off on a change. On the stick of Simpson, nice cut around there. He beat Severo at center ice. Here comes St. Paul, but the pass was picked off. And look out the other way. Here comes Severo trying to get coordinated. Severo waiting, fanned on the shot. And Menes is going to try to send things down to our right for St. Paul's, but stepping up to negate that was Colby Bailey. We got in deep. Russell was pressured and lost it. Here's Stevens along the wall for Bailey. And he missed wide of the net. Comes out in front of the St. Paul's bench. Another long shot. Never made it. Stevens another chance. And a quick snapper. He got that one off in a hurry. Barron able to see it through a couple pairs of legs there. And we get a whistle dead. 429. Got to our right. That's what happens. Sometimes I'll lose track of the time on the clock. I won't look for a couple times. Then when I do look to go. Hello. <laughs> and the chance for Bailey, but the pass miss him. Simpson trying to hop on that. He can't. Shot comes to the goal here. And a good stop by Barron with the left pad. He's had to be good here early. He typically is good too. <laughs> Here's Zink trying to cut over to the middle. Zink dropped it. Coming in is Jacobs now. Missed wide. He was trying to go up on the blocker side. And he missed over this way. Another chance for Zink. High slot. Missed the goal. It's a shooting gallery out there right now for Nobles. And they can't hit the net. Stadheim took his man down. And in a look out. Ooh. That puck went right over my head, folks. <laughs> I'd have been a bit lower. And uh, Eric Simpson would have taken me out. That's a cool wake-up call from uh, Eric. <laughs> I'll stand a bit lower next time. The face-off will come over on the near side. <laughs> that high digs in and wins it. And there goes Julian Mendez on the left side with a bit of space. He'll just rip one in as I'm not sure what he fell. I think it was John Murray on the far side. Yes, it was. A saucer pass from Simpson. Nobody was in the slot, so Sweet has to hustle over to keep the puck in, and he does just that. Cooper Flinton takes a man down. Here's Green off the wall, sends it to the middle, ends up in the stake of Sweet with a drive. Deflected in front, never made it to the goal. Knocked out of the air by Nobles below the bar. So we will continue playing. It probably wouldn't matter anyway. St. Paul's picks up the puck first in their own zone, and McElhinney swings it wide. Here's Sacklett on a stretch. John Sacklett can't get in, trickles back for Green, and then Flinton missed it as well. No in front! Sacklett with a tip. I think it was McElhinney who sent it right into the deep for him, and he missed wide of the goal. Those are two good opportunities for St. Paul's from that great area that Nobles has been getting to so well so far. First time they've really done that tonight. Good stretch pass there by Cooper Flinton as well. Big puck battle here and on the receiving end of a couple of hits is DPA Trantonio. That's a mouthful, by the way. I had to pause for a couple seconds to make sure I got it all out. <laughs> D-P-A tran tone me o At seven syllables. Impressive. <laughs> Here's President Russell with two minutes left. He's watched there by Stevens. 
Away comes Dumont, left the puck behind him as he had his eyes looking towards that offensive blue line that he could not gain. And Stevens was almost in there, but the puck got away from him. And then Orn colliding with Schubert. They hit each other up high, too. They both look like they're all right. They collide on the blue line. Nobles works into the offensive zone right now. And they're working hard in the far corner. Lapsley did a good job, so did Zink. They were the two Bulldogs in the pile as Sacklad gets it out between the blue lines. And here goes Owen, left side, blew a gasket though, and lost it instead to Bailey, who will shoot it out right on the stick of Dumas, who will play it right back where it came from. 19 seconds to go here in this opening frame, and it's still Noble 0, St. Paul 0. Noble's wearing white, St. Paul's in their red. The classic two-color school matchup, and a lead pass up the left side. That'll send Jacobs into the zone. Jacobs trying to cut wide. He did, and send it right through, and sent it, sent it right through the crease and out the other side. Good keep at the line, and a wrister here. And that was Cronin coming out of the zone, but he missed wide of the crossbar. Getting in about of trouble there was the defense pairing of Sullivan and Jean Deere. Jean Deere all the way up in the offense, too. He's got to hustle back now. He just had to lay that check. He went colliding in, and in behind him is Stevens. They're out there against the top trio for Nobles as well. Stevens stopping on Jim Deere in the corner. It's back to the line here, and John Murray waits and loads him and shot scores! A great shot through traffic. John Murray let her go, and I don't think it was tipped. Great screen in front by Nobles, too, and they're on the board first here in St. Paul's. A late period dagger with 41.5 on the clock, and it's one nothing Bulldogs. I believe Stevens got it back to him. He'll get the assist on that one. The captain, John Murray, the goal, and Nobles won St. Paul 0. All right back at it again in the offensive zone. St. Paul's yet to win a game when they haven't scored first, so this will be an interesting. I said it against KUA too when they allowed the first goal. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a dandy of a save right there by Barrett. Graceful as it gets. Coming out to his left and making the glove stop. But yes, I said it against KUA too when they went down. They ended up losing that game it is four to one. But They've yet to be tested resiliency-wise. And I know there will be a lot of eyes that hold on for Stevens! And he ripped the shot right on net. I think Barron only had a split second to make the decision as to what side he was going to, and he made the right one. Blocking it away to his right, and we get a, another face-off here for Nobles, who is looking good in this latter half. Of the first latter half, letter. 12.3 seconds of this first period. <laughs> Nobles can change it over to my right is a proud and loud one. Cronin wearing fans on the shot. That should take us to intermission here. Zach Lattle loft it out. Nobles gets a late goal from Mr. John Murray. And have a one nothing lead here in Concord. Second period is coming up next. 